Hi, my name is Morty from Lexite Pottery Studio, where we implement three Kintsugi methodologies. Um, the one we're not going to show here is the Urishi. We're going to focus on the modern techniques. One of them still using 23 and a half carat gold over lacquer, and the other one is our proprietary gold effect, which is brass based compound. Uh, we're going to cover uh, all the steps from mending, filling, lacquer with gold or the gold effect and lastly we're going to also going to uh, show you some of the principles of inserting gemstones real gold application is when the 23 and a half carat gold is applied over lacquer and the gold effect is metal mixed in a proprietary compound that applied with a with pin tool over the joints here you can see the difference between real gold and gold effect side by side the real gold costs two and a half times greater than the gold effect so price wise uh, the difference is substantial so this is the mending process uh, we have a pad that broken we use those plastic pebbles to hold it in place the gravity can help us. The epoxy is a piece of clear four minutes epoxy. Uh, we use the three by three inches, three in pads to uh, mix the epoxy. Um, this powdery pin tool is the most useful tool. You can use wooden stick as well and uh, apply. Be bountiful. To make sure it touches all the surfaces, squeeze, do not clean the excess epoxy. It's going to make a mess, let it cure. Then continue with other pieces until the ball is all together. Uh, for more details about um, uh, repairing, go to our website, lexitebattery.com. We have a lot of restoration lessons. Once it's cured, don't wait overnight, wait only a few hours so the epoxy is still somewhat soft. It would be hard to remove the excess. I use a blade to remove it. That's another blade to remove from the inside. Sometimes if it's cured too hard, I have to use a torch to soften it up a bit. It moves much easier. And uh, here are all the cracks that need to be filled. We um, use PC11. We place it on a wax warmer to 140 degrees. It's much more malleable, easy to apply and push into the cracks. PC11, it's a two part epoxy, even parts. You mix really, really well. And when you apply it into the crack, just push it in. Don't just smear it on the surface. Then don't wait too long uh, before you clean it up. Do it right away before it hardens. Uh, this is 91% alcohol on a cotton cloth. You rub it off. You make sure you clean it. Although you smear a lot of PC11 all over, so you need to use another piece of cotton cloth, fresh one, to take all the smearing off. And it's ready to have the Kintsugi application. The lacquer we used um, was designed to be ready for the gold powder application about two hours later. Uh, it's approximate. It depends on the humidity and temperature. Um, once we verify that it's ready, we apply the lacquer with a fine brush over the repair lines. About two hours later, we apply the 23 and a half carat gold powder over the lacquer. Uh, 
And as we brush it off, we push it a little bit into the lacquer. And uh, we do it on the inside as well. We wait just the, amount, the right amount of time before burnishing. Before the lacquer is fully cured, where it's resisting enough but not too soft, we um, prepare uh, soapy cold water with a very tightly folded cotton cloth and we burnish all areas where the gold powder was applied. You push hard um, and uh, wash it off when it's done. And here it is already um, with the kintsugi applied on the inside and the outside surfaces. This is the gold effect process. This is where our um, metal mix is mixed with the compounds and applied with a pin tool. This is a real speed. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. And uh, you just apply it over the repair lines, over the white is the PC-11, you can see it. You just apply it over. Dexterity and continuity is really important. Um, the way the pin tool touches the ceramic is important. And the amount that you carry and how you deplete it as you move it along the line is also important. So practice on anything, not on your real path before you get the movement. And here it is, it's all done. We select the right gemstone size, wall thickness, and shape to fit the pot. Uh, after we select it, we uh, grind the opening with diamond burrs uh, to fit the stone perfectly, and then we cement it and fill it the same way you've seen uh, in this lesson prior. This is another example when we had to make the uh, heart shaped bud vase bracket. The customer chose opal and agate stones that he purchased, inserted them in um, using. Again, diamond burr, we first placed it strategically before we, we start grinding and we follow the process described earlier of mending, filling and apply the kintsugi process over the gemstone outline. The following are some more examples of uh, gemstones on uh, various different types of pots.